what is the fifth root of x cubed multiplied by the fifth root of x to the fourth? If the index number is the same, you can simply multiply the stuff inside. x cubed times x to the fourth is x to the seventh. And then 5 goes into 7 one time with 2 remaining. And so that's going to be the answer. But now, what if the index numbers are different? Let's say if we have the cube root of x to the fifth, and we wish to multiply it by the fourth root of x to the third. If the index number is different, we can't just multiply x to the fifth times x to the third. It's not going to work out. So what should we do in this situation then? How can we simplify this expression? What we need to do is convert this expression from radical notation to exponential notation. So this is x to the 5 thirds times x to the 3 fourths. The index number always goes on the bottom. Now when you're multiplying by a common base, you need to add the exponents. 5 over 3 plus 3 over 4. They don't have the same denominator, so we need to change it. Let's multiply 5 thirds by 4 over 4 and 3 fourths by 3 over 3 so we can get a common denominator of 12. 4 times 5 is 20 and 3 times 3 is 9 and 4 times 3 is 12. So 5 thirds is equivalent to 20 over 12. 3 fourths is the same as 9 over 12. So now we can add 20 and 9. So that's going to be 29 over 12. So that's equivalent to the 12th root of x to the 29. Now I'm going to break this down into uh, 24 and 5. 24 and 5 adds up to 29. The 12th root of 24, 24 divided by 12 is 2. So the final answer is uh, x squared times the 12th root of x to the 5th. And that's as far as we can simplify it. Let's try one more example. Multiply the square root of x to the 7 times the cube root of x to the 5th. So first, let's change it to exponential notation. So that's going to be 7 over 2 and 5 over 3. Now let's add the two fractions. Let's get common denominators. Let's multiply this one by 3 over 3 and the other one by 2 over 2. So 7 over 2 is equivalent to 21 over 6. And 5 over 3 is equivalent to 10 over 6. And now 21 plus 10 is 31. So right now we can convert this to its uh, radical form. We can write like this, or we can simplify it further. Well, actually, let's convert it back to radical form. Now, 31 is basically 30 plus 1. The sixth root of x to the 30, 30 divided by 6 is 5. So the final answer is x to the 5th times the sixth root of x. That's it.